Um, and what what types of content are you seeing the biggest spikes? Is it during sports? Is it you know, comedies? Situational? Yeah, I think um, I think I don't think this will be a surprise. I mean, um, you know, engagement follows the zeitgeist, right? So. Tent poles, live events, the Oscars, the Olympics. Um, we did an integration with NBC this past Olympics, and you know engagement was you know pretty high. Um, so I don't think that you know we have anything different or special in that regard. I think people are engaging, and I think it follows what's popular, whether it's a news story or whether it's you know an incredible ending to the season of Homeland. Yep. Yep. You know, in a recent Variety article, I think it was about a month ago, you um, you made a statement that we're blinded by the during. What, what do you mean by that, and kind of what, how does, what does that mean for Facebook's kind of social TV strategy? Yeah, when we, we sat down with uh, Andrew at Variety, he was um, you know talking about you know you know dual screen viewing, watching TV while you're interacting with your device, and we see the the opportunity much broad much more broadly. Um, you know, when I'm in uh, back in LA and we're talking to networks and content producers. Um, we see the opportunities before, during, and after an episode, and before, during, and after a season. So, um, if you look at how people are engaging, and I fa in fact, I, I think uh, uh, Nielsen just came out with a study that you know, exorbitantly more and more people are engaging before a show, as well as during a show, and then even more so after a show. Right. So, when you think about the opportunity, you don't necessarily need to focus 